Hello friends, welcome to Global Studio YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss how to auto dimension the drawing. So, without any delay, let's get started. First, I will create a drawing using a line option and polyline option. Both of the options we will try in this video. First, take the line option and then create a drawing like this. Any shape you can create. Now, take the polyline option create a drawing like this to give the automatic dimensioning type Q dim as you can see here quick dimensioning click enter and then select the drawing and then click enter again as you can see this will create the horizontal dimension to give the vertical dimension again type Q dim and click on enter and then Select the drawing until here and then click on enter. As you can see, we have created a vertical dimension for one side. We have to create a vertical dimension for this side. Again type Q dim, click on enter and then select the other side of the drawing and then click enter again. As you can see, we have given an automatic dimensioning for this drawing using simple steps. You can modify this arrow size and dimension size. That part we will not focus in this video. We will focus only the dimensioning part in this video. Come to the next part, this is a polyline, type Q dim and click on enter and then select the drawing. Click on enter again, as you can see we have created a horizontal dimensioning. Now we will give the vertical dimension, type Q dim, click on enter, select the drawing, enter again. As you can see we have created a vertical dimension. But there is one problem with this polyline drawing, the dimension supposed to be from this point to this point. But here in auto dimensioning what we will get is from this point to this point and then from this point to the next point and then from the third point to the last point so this is how the dimensioning will happen if you use the polyline drawing to avoid this problem you can explore the polyline before dimensioning and then you can give the quick dimension select the one side of the part and then click enter as you can see this is how you can give the quick dimensioning as you can see this is how you can give the quick dimensioning for the polyline if you directly give the dimension for the polyline then the dimension will be point to point and we will increase the text size here give the arrow size 1 and then give the text size as 1 and then type match click enter select the dimension and then select all the other dimensions so this is how you can give the auto dimensioning for the part. I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you guys learned anything from this video then please don't forget to like and also don't forget to click on that subscribe button. We will meet again in the next video with the new tips and tricks. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.